Hello everybody, my name is Eran Swar and welcome to this week's weekly analysis video. Uh, it is Monday today and before I start I just want to point out that this is an analysis video and whatever I do and say in this video is what I would like to see happen in the market uh, in order for me as trader to make my trading decisions. Uh, we can only trade or on, only analyze the markets uh, the best we can and then base our trading decisions on that. So the first part I got open in front of me here is the Euro USD 4 hour chart and to use, as you can remember I think a week, two weeks back we talked about this 128 uh, level, uh, the price wanting to uh, move back to it, well it did that and it really moved uh, about 300 pips past it as well, so a very strong uh, bear trend we have uh, we have on the Euro USD, and we're currently now at this level, so we can take away uh, this uh, line. So uh, what I would like to see happen on this pair now is I'd like to see a small retracement. I think this pair is still very much uh, bearish. Uh, it's a very strong bear trend, but I'd like to see a little retracement to at least maybe these uh, lows in here um, before we can eventually see turn around and move um, lower than this low even and um, move down. So moving on to the next pair, which is the USD Japanese Yen. And this pair we've talked about a sell, which happened right in this area. A very nice move to the bottom, uh, Bollinger Band, and we're currently now at this area. A bit of sideways movement now. Um, this pair is up against a very strong resistance um, area. So uh, we can see this uh, zigzag movement uh, continue, this bounce off the bottom uh, Bollinger Band and the top Bollinger Band. So what I'd like to see happen on this pair is this pair moving uh, downwards. Um, no clear signal for us to trade this pair yet, um, so we'll just sit on the sidelines for now. So moving on to the next pair, which is the GBP USD, and this pair um, has been moving below this 21 EMA for a, a while now, uh, very nicely actually making a, a nice swing lows, tagging this area, um, using it as support resistance, and now currently at this uh, area with the news pushing it down on Friday. So what I'd like to see happen now is this pair uh, move up. Uh, we are currently at a very strong support level. So I'd like to see this pair doing similar movement as it did here, moving up and tagging this 21 before we can see this pair eventually turning around, moving lower than this low. I want to see this pair move lower than this low before uh, eventually moving bullish. But for now, this pair is still uh, very much bearish. Just watch out for the retracement. So moving on to the USD Canadian dollar, and uh, this pair we had a very very nice move in here. We sold down, uh, making a lot of pips, and the market now currently at this position. Um, this is still up against the resistance area, so I'd like to see the Canadian dollar uh, move down. I'd like to see it move to these lows right in here, uh, this level, before eventually moving bullish. But I think for now. This pair is uh, very much bearish. So moving on to the euro pound, and uh, this pair uh, has been up against a very very strong support level right in this area right here, and um, it on the daily it looks very bullish, but I'd like I'd love to see this pair moving down, t tagging this area maybe again. Uh, before moving up, but this pair is uh, very much bullish. If you get a bull uh, signal, you can buy it to at least uh, this high right here. So moving on to the USD Swiss franc, and this is uh, very similar to the EURUSD, but this one actually looks uh, for this week um, a bit better than the EURUSD, and it's also my pick, my pick for the week. Uh, I would like to see this pair uh, retrace, similar to the EURUSD, to around about this level here. Looking at these highs, um, and then I'd like to see this be uh, move up and move higher than this high um, for this week. So moving on to the last pair, which is the Australian dollar, US dollar, and uh, this pair also in a very nice bear trend on the four hour, as you can see, keeping nicely below this 20 uh, SMA of the Bollinger Band, and to we currently at this area. Um, some sideways movement we have in here, but uh, what I'd like to see happen on this pair is I'd like to see, see I'd like to see this pair move up to at least this highs right here, also indicated by the stochastics, which is now over a sold moving out. So I'd like to buy this pair to um, 
to these highs at least. So this is a piece I got on view for this week. Uh, please remember I do explain everything in a student's forum and also give uh, trading signals there. Um, then you should uh, trade smart and enjoy your week and cheers for now.